I go and run this, I, I have an uh, I have a HTML5 stock type up there. All right, let's go and run this. And some of it's blue. The reason that the other things are blue is those, those are actually links. All right, so I could go and do that, I guess, by changing my style rule again and say that any links inside the calendar one gets a color of red. One um, area where that can, this can be troublesome and confusing is the fact that something can get its appearance several different ways. And um, there's probably something in the code that is giving that the color. We could spend some time debugging it. But for this, this for some reason, um, unless I type something in wrong. This is nice. I can, if I'm really dying to know about this, I can roll the tape later on and, and see. If I type out on something. Yeah, there's an update for it to do. Like yeah. And it's supposed to add CSS3 support too and new JavaScript code support. Okay. So for some reason it's getting its its uh its color from something else. Uh again, I'm not going to spend the time debugging this, but you get the idea. Yes. Are there any uh CSS style components in the framework? Like, you know, you want a certain style of calendar. Just well, yeah. And, and that, that's getting to the easy way. <laughs> All right. The easy way is we can view this in source mode, but we can also view this in design mode. All right. And so I'll click on design. <coughs> and here I have sort of my WYSIWYG sort of editor. If I right mouse on it and say auto format, I can go and pick certain styles for this. So now we'll go and run this and it looks Does different. Does it generate CSS? Then? Well, good question. Let's, let's, let's take a look at this, both from the perspective of the client side code, or I'm sorry, the server side code first, and then from the perspective of the client side code. So remember, this is the same ASPX file. You can either view it in design mode, which has its value, 
But you don't want to become dependent on this. You don't want to only know how to interact with the page through design view. You want to be able to, to understand the source, too. There's also split view, where it shows you both. And there's a source view. Now, in this case, on the server side, let me close these down so we can look at this better. It generated a whole bunch of tags within the ASP calendar tag. All right. Generated a whole bunch of tags within the ASP. Because if you notice, here's the start calendar tag, here's the end calendar tag. It actually added some attributes to it for font name, font size, font color, blah, 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 blah. And it put some of these ASP.NET tags within the ASP.NET calendar control. If we run this now and look at the source that got generated, you will see that it actually uses inline styles to do that. Which makes me wince a little bit, all right? Because um, I generally avoid that. And since inline styles override my style sheet code, um, that's what it gets. I'm going to real quick look and see if I can't figure out why I could not make that red. No one in the room other than me is probably interested in that. And I'm not even sure I'm interested in it. But it's annoying me, so I'm going to look at it. Okay, there's that. And how am I going to debug this? All right, this is why I'm doing it. It's not just a personal vendetta against those links. <laughs> How am I going to do this? And, and this is um, this is my advice for any of these sorts of problems. Why things don't look the way that you expect them to is go to the HTML and think about if I was doing this with a static web page, how would I style it? All right. I actually had a, a gigantic dispute with an author of a textbook that I was asked to write a chapter for. All right, they asked me to do a chapter on uh, web applications, ASP.NET. And I wrote the chapter, and I thought I did a good job on it. They didn't like my chapter because they said I talked too much about HTML. This is an ASP.NET class. This is not, or ASP.NET uh, text. This isn't an HTML text. I vehemently disagreed. You don't, you know, ASP.NET is simply a tool for creating HTML. You can't know ASP.NET. You won't be effective knowing ASP.NET if you don't know anything about HTML. Therefore, you need to at least kind of have an idea. So, at any rate, I'm grinding a lot of axes today, I suppose. Let's look at this and let's look at one of those links. Those are not links. Oh, and there's a style on it, color black. Now, where does that come from? Maybe not links. Yeah. Let me look at it again. Oh, it, okay, it is a
It's not letting me not select anything. And there's something in there. skin a cat, as they say. We can make a class for calendar. Link. And then over here. No. I can go in here and say I want this to have a CSS class of calendar. And if this doesn't work, I'm giving up. Yeah. All right, it still doesn't work. It's still, it is generating some code to put uh, an embedded style in there. And I am not sure exactly how it is doing that. I don't see where in the code that it did that. But you get the idea. To be able to style something, generally you need a hook to point to it. And that hook is either going to be HTML, the HTML tag it is, the ID it has, or a CSS class. All right. I will post this example. If any of you want to take a shot at trying to make that red. See, that, that's, that's a teacher of me, you know. I did this on purpose to sort of challenge you. And yeah, If you want to take a shot at it, feel free to, to do that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. All right, we'll see you over in lab.